Hello, Warriors of Light. Welcome to another video where we have things going on in the Final Fantasy XIV uh, community. And uh, speaking of that, I did make a video about uh, what the drama was going on in World First yesterday, but now we got the Yoshi P statement. Um, I'll probably link it in the description down below if you if you want to read it yourself. Or if you already have read it, I just want to give my thoughts and opinions on it and stuff like that. Um, I have seen this already. I just wanted to mention like a couple things that I thought were uh, interesting and stuff that I've seen around the internet. And uh, yeah, it is kind of a crazy time. Like literally things, <laughs> the 14 community is like on fire right now. Um, I mean, literally it's like trending everything. A lot of people are talking about it, of course. And yeah, so I just wanted to make my uh, my own video, just give my opinions and what I think. Even though I'm not an ultimate raider, maybe one day. I'm just not there yet. Um, life is busy. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a dad. I only get a couple hours to, to uh, play per night, and I, I'm doing a lot of the solo stuff first. I've dove into a little bit of raiding, but not enough. But I do love watching uh, the world first races and stuff like that. So I'm just off of a viewer uh, perspective. Um, is or you know giving my thoughts as a viewer on this not as a player i guess um but yeah so he's talking about the third party stuff everything that you know you can have accounts mentioned or permanent account bans i'm wondering if there will be a permanent account ban i don't think anyone has gotten a permanent account ban yet not in the news so far but we'll see in the next couple of days they are investigating um still there was definitely leaks about the um, there was leaks about uh i don't even know if i can well there was leaks about a a scene that plays in the raid that's all said that got leaked i guess uh they're looking uh inside their own company they think someone uh released that or whatever uh but there's a tech change i've come across post visuals things along the lines yeah, this is about the third party tools. This is about him. He's never said that they could use third party tools. Uh, where's the one? Uh, but yeah, Yoshi P is he's mad. All right. He's actually I think the last time like the DSR one, he was disappointed. This one, I think he's he's actually mad. It's just like, come on, guys, like you, you know, the rules. All right. It's TOS. All right. It's TOS. You know, you get caught. You know, was it, uh, you know, you F around, you, uh, you're going to find out. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, they're, Yoshi P is very, I think he's very upset this time. They're actually doing a lot more compared to last time. And I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you what, uh, exactly what I mean by that as well. Uh, so yeah, this is the cutscene resources. Uh, let me see. But yeah, this is like like even in this one, the firm punishment will be given to anyone who's identified as the uh, as this is the talk about the insides. So they they are definitely who's ever they're probably in big big big, big trouble. Um, but yeah, the, I think the one thing him saying, let's see, we have shown our support in every community by sharing information. The first clears once multiple clear times come forth and exact clear times have been confirmed. However, as announced in the previous statements. I plan to refrain from doing so for the time being. We hear the community voice and an official race uh, should be supported and regulations should be decided upon. This is the topic which needs to be discussed internally, so please allow me to keep this as an item for future consideration. Yo, this one I think is a big one where honestly they should just hire Frosty that has done the world first race. I think it would just be sick and really cool. I think he's definitely the guy to do it. He's already done a fantastic job. Um, this would be kind of huge. I think this could solve um, a lot of issues. Uh, I, I don't think all of them, but it could solve. I mean, they can make certain rules or whatever, and then you have to do what you have to do. So what this kind of reminds me is so I play a lot of Path of Exile, and um, <clears throat> we like the gauntlet races and stuff like that, you do need to record yourself um beating a certain boss or whatever like they have you have to have some proof of you uh beating the certain boss to like turn it in whatever and then time it uh, that's kind of how they they do it there um for some of their like boss kills and stuff like that if you're going for bounties or whatever you have to post it on the discord and 
to uh, officially clear it. So they could do something like that where it becomes an official event. Maybe you have to stream it. Um, I don't think they could do record because, I mean, you could just use probably add-ons and then when you're like really close, then you can turn off the add-ons. Um, Cause you could just go like almost to the, the final phase with add-ons and then just turn it off and be like, okay, we, we know most of the fight and we'll try it. Cause then you, I'm just saying, I'm just talking about like if you can record it. So I don't think recording is still, the, the, the problem would have to be, you probably would have to like stream it. So um, I don't know how that would exactly work and how they would do it. Uh, I have no idea, but that that's just my guess. That's me thinking this is only short term thing. <laughs> like you need a lot of time to think about it. Like what can you do and stuff like that? This is just, I, I barely put too much thought into it, but I think it would be cool. And I think it could be better, uh, especially. Uh, it, it, it's interesting because um, a lot of people are like, oh, why, why doesn't Blizzard do the world first race? Well, Blizzard's not very good at You don't want Blizzard to do just the world first race uh, and WoW. But I think uh, the, uh, the Final Fantasy XIV team could do it really good and really and justice and stuff like that. Like I would trust them a lot more. Uh, but yeah. The Ultimate Raid series is the most difficult battle in content with 14, and we released this content after testing that, and it can be cleared without the use of third-party tools. However, this position is the content to be tackled and cleared with the use of third-party tools. The, um, and any reason to develop high-difficulty battle content seems to be lost. It's very difficult for me to understand as a gamer, the meaning behind the numerous third-party tools to complete, compete to clear first would be. Um, yeah, this one is kind of interesting that, uh, he talks about, uh, you know, people are like, oh, is he actually like threatening not to make ultimates? Uh, I, I don't think, I don't think they would ever get rid of ultimates. Ultimates is kind of a big, big, uh, thing for Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, look at this viewership on Twitch. I know that's not everything or anything like that, but it does bring in a group of people and stuff like that uh, that get together and watch. And then the viewership is pretty much the highest I've seen in any time in Final Fantasy 14. It's getting even higher. Uh, 14 is growing as a game. We can definitely tell by that it is getting bigger and bigger and more people are uh, getting more into it and stuff like that. You can see the game is growing. And that's why we've been seeing lately with all this, when this stuff happens, it explodes in the Internet. A lot of people are talking about it, and there's a lot more people that have they play like 14 all the time, or they 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 have dove into 14 and they kind of play on and off. There's a lot more of those people, so there's a lot more player base, and uh, yeah, this this is um, I think I think Ultimate is a big deal, and I think it brings a lot of people into the game, uh, even though it is probably the one percent five percent player base. Um. But it is a cool thing. I, I think it's much bigger if you think about it as a viewership. I feel like a lot of people like watching and just enjoying the, the, the race itself. So, And uh, like I said, Frost and them, they did a wonderful job uh, on the race and did an awesome things with charity and stuff like that. So now I wanted to go to, so this is the, the thing. I will put it in the description if you guys want to read it all the way through. I just wanted to get those two points. Uh, I think those are kind of like really big points. Making it its own event. Uh, I guess fear of the ultimate going away. I personally, I don't feel like it will. I mean, I'm kind of curious what you guys would think. Comment down below. Uh, what you guys think. Uh, do you think they would get rid of ultimates? I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. But I get his point, though. It is a bummer that they put all this work. Because those ultimate fights take a long time to make. And then you see this happen. And it's just like, because it, it kills the vibe. It, it kills the trust. And that's the problem. And I wanted, I wanted to talk about the trust a little bit because this, uh, Sifa here, I think I think Sifa, hopefully I say his name right, geez. Um, one, he's a really good raider, really, really good raider in that. But he says, uh, looks like they're going to stream next time we prog, is maybe later today. I want to be super clear, this is only because we feel, you know, legitimacy of our prog is super important right now. And I was originally against the idea. So now they are feeling, I feel like a lot more teams, especially the higher up teams that have wanted, they, I think it's this weird vibe where people are, you know, the, like people are not going to trust an off stream team now. It's just not, it's, it's going to be like, okay, they won, but did they cheat? Did they use anything? Whatever it could be. So, and that's the problem. So I think. This might be a good thing. I think viewership wise, this could be a good thing. Um, hopefully this goes really good for them. 
Um, I, I have listened to the podcast of them talking about streaming and not streaming and stuff like that. And I think this could be one. I think viewership wise could even be bigger because it's cool to see the the, the top teams actually uh, stream. I always like watching the the WoW World First races with Echo and Lit and Limit. You can see you can see the top teams stream. It's cool to see them go side by side. Where in fourteen, not all the stream. Some of the stream teams are up there. I think uh, was it last year that I think one of them took second for a stream team. So that was cool to see. But I would say overall, we don't really get to see the, the top team or most of the top ones. So it'd be cool to see more teams uh, stream personally. But the last thing I want to talk about real quick is... So this could this could be a good thing, is, is what I'm trying to say here. Sorry. I have ADD, ADHD, and all that. My brain's all over the place. So I'm really bad at this. <laughs> but uh, Ar is it Arth Arthars? Uh, I, I call him Arthas, but... I don't know why. I was like, wait a minute. I've been calling him Arthas this whole time, but he's got his, he's got his name. But anyways, he says, holy shit, I've played this game for 10 years, and I have never, ever seen Square Enix and its GM take such drastic actions. They're literally removing all achievements, gear, and also the title from Associates of the World First Team, despite them not directly found guilty of cheating. So he's played this game way longer than I have. Like I said, I only got like 1,500 hours. I started at the end of Shadowbringers at like 5.4. So I'm pretty new to the community, pretty new to uh, the game itself, um, but not new to MMOs. I've been playing MMOs for a really, really, really long time. I just I've been hooked on 14. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, so they literally for the first time ever removed the achievements, the gear and the title. First time ever. And this is just the news that we're, we're getting now. We still don't know about certain other people. So we'll have to see. Like I said, I haven't seen anyone um personally anyone get banned yet or anything like that so i don't know it's going to be interesting uh to me like hey you broke the tos like everyone knows playing the game and i would say a lot of people know that, that they probably are using add-ons if you don't stream and stuff like that i don't know personally i don't know but i would imagine uh like i watched like xeno and them talk about it that they other people use add-ons, um, but hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens. Does this is this going to scare more people? Is it going to change anything? I think that's the biggest question. Um, I mean, what do you guys all think that uh, Yoshi P is this is this enough to scare people um, to not do it? I still think we'll have to see exactly what what's going to happen um, if there's going to be any permanent bans or anything like that but i just wanted to talk about what's going on in the final fantasy 14 community it is on fire everyone's talking about it i hope things go good i hope things get better um uh, we are not going to have another ultimate i don't think for a bit we'll have to see probably like 7.1 would technically be the next one i think so I, I don't know it, it'll be it'll be some time uh before we know but uh yeah thank you all for watching that's just my thoughts and everything on this and uh thank you for watching uh make sure to hit the subscribe button comment down below what do you think about this whole situation i would love to know and um yeah make sure to hit that like button and the notification bell if you guys like final fantasy 14 content i make guides slowly get into the guides i'm doing all the achievements i'm achievement uh guy where uh, I want to like do as many achievements as possible and make guide videos on it and stuff like that. So if you guys like that stuff or discussions or anything that's happening with Final Fantasy XIV, make sure to hit the sub button. I really would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to follow me at twitch.tv slash wildish22, I play Final Fantasy XIV there. And I have a podcast called uh, Because Anime, if you ever want to check that out. That's on like Spotify and all that stuff, Like uh, if you guys are into anime at all. Uh, we have our own podcast about that one. I'd really appreciate it if you check that out, too. But anyways, I'll, I'll see you all uh, on the next uh, video. So have a wonderful day, wonderful uh, night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you later, and adios.